Okay, we're now on Nidarim, Perik Abet, Mishnah Aleph. First Mishnah and the second chapter, Nidarim, Perik Bet, Mishnah Aleph. Okay, the Mishnah says, Ve'elu Mutarim. If you take the following Nidarim, it doesn't count at all. Because remember, we learned in our Mishnah, it has to be a neder, Mishum Davar Nadur. Okay, it has to be from some, from, from the way, it has to be connected to something like a korban, something that you would take a neder on. So this, if I say this stapler is like pig meat, it's not something in neder, and pig meat is asur to me, even though I don't take a neder. So therefore, in that case, it's not asur. Okay, the neder has to be something that, as we'll soon see, the following neder, for say, chutin Okay, your food to me should be like chulin. What do you do? Because chulin is mutar. Or, kibasar chazir. Right, your food to me should be like pork. Ka'avodazara. Like avodazara, like uh, idol worship. Ka'orot levuvin. Orot levuvin. Let's make this a little bigger. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Ka'orot levuvin. What are orot levuvin? The Baratun Rebbe says, Ayu no kvim behima mechayim is a kind of avodazara. Okay, it's a kind of, 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 of idol worship. Because what they would do is they make a hole in the animal when it's alive. Keneged halev, corresponding to the heart. Umotzin halev, this is like from Indiana Jones. And then they would take out the heart of Makivin Otala Vodazara and they would offer it as idolatry. And so they, they would use this is you, you get this skin, you're in the market and you see this animal skin. Okay, and the animal skin had the heart area opened up. That's Orot Livuvin. And that's Asur, that's Tikovit Avodazara, and it's Asur. So you say, You're you're you know, I'm not gonna benefit from you. Your food should be could be like Orot Livuvin. I take a ned there. That's not net. We'll see. Kinavelot, like the Velot are animals that died without being shechted. Kitrefot. Or animals that were shechted, but were going to had a sickness that were going to die within a year. Kishkatsim, kirimasim, like bugs, like creepy crawly things. Kichalat aharon, like the chala of Aaron. Uki truma to, and like truma, that's truma gidola, and that's asubida, right? So if you say my, my neda, like all of those things, in each of those cases, it's mutar, right? Because the neda is not chal, because as we said, it's not like something that's davar hanador. Let's look at the bartunor. Why is it mutar? Damar Kra, the Torah says, each ki yi dor neder. Ad shihe shi yador bedavar hanador. Until you take the neder, in some, it, the neder is on something like something that's asur because of a neder. That's bedavar hanador. And all of these things are not davar hanador. And therefore, all of these things, you know, pork and trefot, all the things are asur, trumar asur anyway. Next case. You are like my mother. I take a neder. You'll be like my mother. I'm not going to touch you. The, the neder is not chal, but we are poti. We, we open up a petach. We, we don't like the idea. As I'll say, we don't like the, 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 the idea that a person would take a neder to, uh, to, to make his wife asur to him. So we don't want to say, oh, that doesn't count, because we do want to do it again. So therefore, when you say potach petach, you have to go to a rab, a sheilat chacham, and you say, if you knew that your wife couldn't, couldn't make you chocolate cake, would you have made that neder? No, never. So therefore, why? Shelo yakel rosh shobekach. So you won't have kalut rosh. So you won't be lighted. I, he won't be, he won't be, he won't be flippant about these things. That's why we're potchim petach mekom acher. If he says, konam sheini yashen. If I say, take an oath. Konam. That's the, remember the, yeah, the, 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 it's the phrase. It's the, it's the, what's it called again? I'm sorry, the kinui, right. Konam she'en yashen, I promise I won't sleep. She'en yimid aber, she'en yimahalech, I won't speak, I won't walk. Or those are things, remember, that have no mamashut. So therefore, the neder is not chal. Or, ha'omer le'ishto, he says to his wife, konam she'en yimishamesh, amishamshech, I take a konam, an oath, that I will not have relations with you. Harei ze belo yachel devaro. He's over, he's violating an isur de Rabbanan of lo yachel de baro. Meaning you can't make your words chulin, but there's no chalot, but there's no isur, but there's no neder. You just can't say new things and you can't make your, your words into chulin, into like, you know, into meaningless things. But the neder is not chal because we should add that as another rule. It has to be a, it has to be a neder sheyesh bo mamash. That's another rule because if there's no, if there's no mamash, meaning if it, if there's no actuality to it, then it has no chalot. But, shvua, not a neder. If you take a shvua, she'eni yashen. She'eni medaber, she'eni mehalech. If you take an oath, if you take a promise, a, a swearing that I won't sleep, I won't speak, or I won't walk, in all of those cases, those are asur, min ha-Torah. Why? Bar-Tudura, let's look at the Bar-Tudura. Asur min ha-Torah, de shvuot chalim, ben al-dabar she'yesh ba mamash. Ben al-dabar she'en ba mamash. A neder is only al-dabar she'yesh ba mamash. But a shvua is al-dabar 
as well. The bartender adds, if you take an oath, shelo yishan shelo shayamim mitzufim la'el avayom, you take an oath that you're not going to sleep for three days, nineteen days. Lo kev yishen miyad. They give you malchut. They violated. Pimnei shenishbal davar shei efshar lekaimo. You took an oath on something that's impossible to fulfill. We'll stop here and dedicate our learning to memory of my father, Harav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a good day.